Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can download and install Eclipse IDE on our Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, in order to install Eclipse IDE, you need to have Java installed on your Windows operating system. So if you haven't already installed Java, you can install Java. And if you don't know how to install Java, I have already created a video about it. And I will put the link of that video in the description of this video. So you can watch that video and install Java on your Windows operating system. So once you have installed Java, then let's start with the installation of Eclipse IDE. So for that, open your favorite browser and search for Eclipse download. And the first link which will appear here will be from eclipse.org forward slash download. So we are going to click on this link here. And once you are on this website, I'm going to first of all accept all the cookies and then when you scroll down a little you will see this kind of uh, output it says install your favorite desktop IDE package and then you will see the download button so I'm going to click on this download button which is under the logo of Eclipse IDE and once you click on this button you will be redirected to this web page and it's going to show you uh, the nearest mirror location from your current location where this executable file is hosted. So I'm going to click on this download button here, which is going to start the download of this Eclipse inst jre win64.exe file. So just wait for this download to finish. It's going to be finished really fast. And once this exe file is downloaded, we are going to click on this exe file and let me minimize this browser. So you can see this Eclipse installer is being started. So now I can see this next window. Now here you will be able to find several different variants of Eclipse IDE. So you can see Eclipse IDE for Java developers, Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java developers, Eclipse IDE for C and C++ developers. So for whatever purpose you want to install Eclipse IDE, you will be able to find that option in this list. So for now, I want to install Eclipse for developing Java. So I'm going to select this first option, which says Eclipse IDE for Java developers. But if you want to install Eclipse IDE for any other programming language development, you can choose that option from this list. So let me choose this first option, which says Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Now on the next window, I can see the Java version and the installation folder. So Eclipse is going to recognize if I have Java installed on my Windows operating system. And you can see it has already recognized that I have Java 23 and it's there inside this Java folder. So I don't need to do anything. I just need to use this default version because I have already installed Java on this Windows operating system. Also, I can see uh, these two checkboxes. So just leave these two checkboxes as checked. What they are going to do is they are going to create the start menu entry for your Eclipse. And the second option is going to create the desktop shortcut for Eclipse IDE. So at this point, just click on install button, which is going to give you this kind of uh, license agreement terms and conditions for your Eclipse IDE. So if you accept these license terms and conditions, just click on accept now button and then it's going to start the installation process. So at this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds until this process is finished. Now, after a few seconds, Eclipse IDE is installed on our uh, Windows operating system and I can see this launch button now. So I can click on this uh, launch button, which is going to launch the Eclipse IDE. You can see Eclipse IDE is being launched. And for the first time, when you install Eclipse IDE on your Windows operating system, you will see the select a directory as workspace. So just leave this as default, which means that Eclipse is going to save all your project in this uh, folder path, right? Also check this checkbox, which says use this uh, as default and do not ask again, and then click on launch. 
which is going to uh, set this path as your workspace and then it's going to launch your Eclipse IDE. So now I can see that Eclipse IDE has been launched. Also, sometimes you might see this kind of warning which says Microsoft Defender Exclusion Check. I'm going to just click on this radio button which says exclude Eclipse IDE from being scanned and then click on proceed here. Also, it opens this kind of window which says uh, sponsor Eclipse IDE. So if you want, you can donate to the Eclipse Foundation. And if you don't want, just leave it as it is. And now you can see this welcome window where you can see the overview here. You can see some tutorial samples and then you can also see create a hello world application option here. Also, you have the option to import existing projects and launch uh, the Eclipse marketplace. For now, I'm going to close this welcome window. And then what it does is it's going to show you this kind of package explorer. From here, you can create a new Java project. You can also click on this file option and then click on new and then click on new uh, Java project here and then give the name to your project. For example, I'm going to name my project as Hello World. And you can uh, see uh, it says use the execution environment JRE Java SE 22. For now, I'm going to uh, select this option which says use default JRE which is JDK 23 in my case because I have pre-installed this version of Java JDK. You can also click on the configure JRE if you have multiple version of uh, Java JDK installed and select the version which you have on your Windows operating system. So if you have two or three versions, you can select the version you want for this project. For now, I only have one version of Java. So I can select this default version. So I'm going to click on apply and close here. And then you have this project layout. I'm going to leave it as default. Also under modules, I don't want to create the module hyphen info dot Java file. I just want to test if everything is working fine related to my Java file compilation and execution, right? So I'm going to uncheck this option and then click on next. And then I can see the project folder structure and then my bin folder structure here. So I'm going to click on finish here, which is going to create my project. And then you can see I have this kind of folder structure here. So here I'm going to create a new uh, Java class. So just right click on this SRC folder and then click on new and then select the class option here. So I'm going to click on the Java class option and I'm going to name my Java class as hello, for example. Under modifiers, I'm going to leave it as public and the super class is java.lang.object. I'm going to leave it as default. Then under which stubs would you like to create? So I'm going to click on this option which says public static void main, which is going to create this main method for me. And then I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on finish here, which is going to create my file, which is the hello.java file. And it has created this main method for me. Under this method, if I want, I can uh, print, let's say, hello world. For that, you can just type system.out.println of println. And then inside the parentheses, you can type your text which you want to print. For example, I just want to print hello world here. So I'm going to type that. And then for running your program, you can click on this option, which says run hello.java. So this is this green button here. So I'm going to click on this. And then it's going to ask me to select the main file, which is hello.java in my case. So I'm going to select this and then click on OK which is going to compile this uh, file and then show me the output. You can see I can already see this hello world output in the console section. That means everything is working fine related to my Eclipse IDE and I can create my Java projects and compile my Java files within my Eclipse IDE. 
So this is how you can install and set up Eclipse IDE on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.